And greetings, everybody. Welcome back to my single-player world uh, with the most p powerful farm in the game that takes, like, 20 iron and a redstone and a single source of water and a mending fishing rod. Very, very powerful. Get to a billion things um, in the game. And so, in this area, um, I also do that AFK fishing farm, which I am not joking, actually is super powerful with the enchanted books it gives. Um, it is beneath my witch farm. Um, my witch farm is way up there on the surface, um, as you have seen in previous videos, if you remember them. Um, and this is how I kill these zombies with feather foiling on them. But my witch farm is up there. Um, I have been working in this area a lot, clearing up the caves, and I found this trick on Reddit in the newest version of the game, where you take a piston, a redstone block, and one of these new composters, and you get in it, which I always find really difficult, and then you have that piston up there, you push that in your head, and you can see through the world like this, um, so it's particularly useful to see random villagers that are in your um, strip mine at the bottom layers of the world. But really, you're looking for the zombies, and like there's a creeper and a spider over there, uh, and there's like a whole cave set over there. So all of this like lit up area, there's a lot more up there. It's very hard to see up in this system, um, but I've mainly been fixing all those caves up there, lighting them all up. So all the mob monsters are spawning in my actual witch farm, including a lot more witches. Is that on fire? That is a pig. I thought that was my trees on fire. Anyways, so I've been looking or cleaning up my world that way. Um, one step at a time. Thank you. Um, to get to where I am today. Uh, I've also been doing some other things around this area too. Let's go take a look. So my out of here is these water streams. Here's my surface and there's the witch farm as we've seen before. Um, doesn't really like spawning things when they're close though. That's why I have that farm down there where all the items are at. Yeah, and it's nighttime, so you who knows what mobs are spawning on the surface. So, um, yeah, I have all my stuff laid out. I've gotten a lot of supplies over the this time. A lot of coal, especially, and just make sure to fortune it all. Um, but one area that I found, this is pretty interesting, were the caves over here. Um, with um, a skeleton spawner at, right there. You can even see it right there. My cat is in my field of vision so I can't see my screen but let's fly to the other side of the world um, see so yeah, all the villagers the new update changed the way they're trading and they're all behaving very strange so first of all I still don't know why but all of them all of them are in this jam pack in the corner as tight as they could be they just of all the spaces in the world they're no longer farming the the carrots that I gave them. They're no longer breeding because breeding works differently. That was expected. But they are just not... I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they have all the space and I'm not using it. Um, these were my trading villagers and so far I believe they are all the same. Yeah, 32 for unbreaking on the sign up there. Um, Fire aspect and smite. It's even easier to trade with all of them now, but um, and I have some little the powerful ones I moved like my mending for 16 emeralds. I moved up over there a while ago, but um, you can see the last thing I really want to show is up here what I worked on today. Um, this is something I do um, a lot. Um, just well, not in this world in particular, but I like to build creeper faces at, on s multiplayer servers at other people's bases to mark. So I was there. 
Uh, normally I just use um, four different wool colors, not glass, and I only do the face. But for my single player world, I decided to make a whole creeper. And I even have this slight blue clay, this the glass, to try out to see if I can make it supercharged and make it look really good. I'm not really liking it though, and it was as much of a pain to set up just that some few rings of blue as the whole entire creeper itself. So I'm going to take all that down and maybe figure out a way to light it up because it's nighttime and harder to see. But this is the area where I actually make the supercharged creepers um, with the tridents and then I bring them down there to actually get the mob heads from their explosions because um, it's semi safer down there. Although that is the last thing I died in this world. So uh, I finally made a little mark in the world, finally built my creeper, my giant creeper, and that is all I wanted to show for you today. So um, I will see you in the next video whenever that is, uh, and I will catch you next time. Have a good day. Bye.